I am Colleen Alfenbottle. I'm the black bear and fur bear biologist for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Today we are at our captive rehabilitation facility for orphan bear cubs. Uh, this is a program that got started back in the mid 1970s and North Carolina was probably one of the first states in the country, maybe even North America, to start a cub rehabilitation program. So since 1976, we've been rehabilitating orphan bear cubs. We are probably at around 200 orphan bear cubs by now, maybe a bit more than that, that we've rehabilitated and released back into the wild. We tend to get orphan bear cubs starting in February through up to the end of the summer, though on occasion we have gotten some orphan bear cubs in the fall. Once we get an orphan bear cub, we bring them to one of three wildlife rehabilitators in the state. That's where they stay until they're weaned. By weaning, I mean they can now eat solid foods. So once they can start to eat solid foods, which is late summer, we will actually put them in our enclosed captive rehab facility, which is pretty much about just under a two acre wooded facility. It's enclosed by fencing. And we put the cubs in there and they get to be with other bear cubs. They learn to be bears. They get to climb trees. They get to eat forbs and grasses and acorns. And we actually overwinter them in this facility in order to make sure that if they did get habituated through the rehabilitation process, which is very hands-on, that because they overwinter with us, they kind of learn how to become real bears. They, they become wild again. And then in the early summertime, we release them. And we do it in early summer for a couple of reasons. One, that's when natural foods are coming out. So there's plenty of food for the bears to eat upon release. But we also do that to make sure that these bears are really big, have a lot of weight on them when they get released, because certainly the first day or two or even week, they're gonna be a little disorientated. So we wanna make sure we've really fattened them up before we release them. So most of our orphan bear cubs come from either our coastal plain region or from the mountains. Um, usually it's about half and half. And so we try to release them at least in the same region that they came from. The place we pick though is not necessarily where we found that cub, because sometimes we find cubs in pretty uh, urban areas and we don't want to put the cub back there. So we try to pick spots that are as remote as possible within North Carolina. That's becoming more and more of a challenge. But we try to pick a remote spot that we also know has a lot of good natural foods. If you do suspect that you have an orphan bear cub or bear cubs in your area, please don't try to pick them up yourself because one, they may not be orphaned. It could just be the female went away and she'll come back. Please call us, call the Wildlife Resources Commission. What we will do is we'll investigate and if we confirm that yes, those bear cubs are definitely orphaned, the female's nowhere to be found, she's not returning, we will take them in and again, bring them to one of our three private rehabbers before then putting them into our wooded enclosed facility for the continuation of the rehabilitation process. Cubs stay with the female for two winters, and then in the springtime, when they're just over a year old, again, 1.2 to 1.3 years old, they will naturally leave their mom. If they don't leave their mom, mom's gonna kick them out, because mom wants to breed again. Mom wants to find a mate and breed so she can have more cubs. So when we release these bears, that's when they would actually naturally be leaving their mother to begin with. So when we release these bears, we do mark them. Uh, we put ear tags on them, tattoos, and what's called a pit tag, which is basically a microchip, the same microchip you put in your cat and dog. That way, if you know down the road, we see that a bear's been hit by a car, um, or maybe was illegally harvested by a hunter, if it has an ear tag, then we can find out what the fate of that bear was. Very important for us to know. And sometimes we don't ever hear back from these bears we release which to be honest is a wonderful thing. Uh, they go out into the world and hopefully live a long, happy, healthy life out in North Carolina.